What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 15th Android application development tutorial in which I'm going to show you on-click event for Android. Now on-click pretty much works same if you have worked with web like uh, on-click fires when you click on an element but uh, the analogy for mobile devices is that on-click would fire whenever you touch a particular view now what happens is that like <clears throat> if you want to add some interaction with this button what you can do is you can set an on click event to this button and it would fire that particular method which you have in your main activity so on click or actually events are pretty interesting because you have a couple of ways to do so for android now you can do that in xml or you can just purely do that in the activity itself well actually you could pretty much do everything what you are doing in XML into your activity so that is because this XML kind is rendered by your Java file so eventually in one way or another you are actually coding all these things for your device only so <clears throat> I'm gonna show you the very first method for setting up an on-click listener and that would be to make use of Android on click now pay close attention here because these things are gonna save your life later on so Android on click would accept a name of the method you want to fire whenever this button this particular button is clicked so let's say this is my own my first method let's just say that now what happens is that this is the name of your method and this would be fired whenever this button is clicked so let's just move our code to main activity .java. and now what you need to do is that many people would do this wrong make sure your method is public Now this is very important because XML doesn't actually XML has to access this particular method but it is not called from your particular code so if you just change this to private or protected XML wouldn't be able to call this method now the thing is here that you are making use of XML to set an on-click event method that is why you need to set this to public if you have implemented that if you have had implemented that in this Java class only then you could have set this to private or protected whatever you wish but with XML you need to set it to public because XML needs to call that instead of Java now so public void my first method and what you need to do here is give in a view of V or whatever name and just import that if it asks you so so what happens is that whenever this button is clicked Android would throw in information about this button as well as a view in the argument for this my first method automatically so you could have access to all the properties related to this button using this V as an argument but I'm just gonna right now say that uh, toast <coughs> dot uh, make text and I'm gonna say that this is get application context then I'm gonna say this is my text I was clicked and I guess I haven't explained toasts as well so anyways this kind of looks you know uh, self-explanatory but I'm just gonna explain that later on length long or short you could have either of one of them and don't forget to show the toast <clears throat> so what we are making use of is this method again with an XML and then this method defined inside our XML uh, inside our Java class so it's time to fire off get emotion and uh, test our application for that so here we go start the phone Uh, let's just wait for it so here we go 
and you could actually close that once the emulator is on so just say that uh, let's just wait for it to boot up so here we are and probably let's just go on and hit that because the time it would take to build would be sufficient for it to initialize its settings so as you can see the app is building and you could just navigate around a bit so let's just wait for it for now <clears throat> and we are still waiting for it to build and it's installing now and uh, here we go so we have three buttons just like our layout showed us and if I click on this cool button you can see that I was clicked popped up as a toast and uh, you know this is the thing which made that happen and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another method for creating the same click event but with the help of code now so actually I prefer myself the code one because you know it is kind of XML kind of is used for layout purposes it's like you know you don't just create your layouts in Java and append them actually you know if they are not kind of dynamic so you don't need to actually make use of event handling in XML XML has its job to do UI it's not you know it should not be related with the, the event handling it should be just related with the UI so even with this you could actually make a click event happen now what you need for that is that number one thing you need to somehow get this button so in Java your Java right now <clears throat> it doesn't know about that uh, uh, let's just make sure we write our code above the override or below it so your Java doesn't know about this particular button right now so we need to make sure that Java knows about that so what we can do is I can write button as uh, my first button and the reason this is a button because it is a button so this is a type inherited from view and uh, is it it's a widget but it's still a view so <clears throat> button my first button is uh, what you have to do next is say find view by ID now this is why IDs are important and necessary because you could then target the particular elements with the help of Java easily so this this has the ID of b1 and I'm gonna say this is r dot ID dot b1 now what the heck is r here well R is a special class this is r.java it's actually a class in your Android itself and uh, let me just change it to project first so r.java is actually a class which is built which is created on one time and it contains all the access to your resources basically so r.java would contain access to this b1 ID on the runtime so you can kind of this R file is a bridge to your programming interface and your application interface which the user sees so it still gives us an error because it says me incompatible types which is required one is uh, well required one why the heck is it flickering required one is uh, Android widget button and found is Android view view now okay so we can fix that by explicitly saying that hey Java this is actually a button so the reason we need to do this is that Java would by default just find an element which has this particular ID which R returns and it doesn't care about how it looks like as you can see that it says find view by ID instead of like find button by ID or 
find anything else so you need to explicitly say that we are expecting a button from this id that particular id so that would kind of make it work now the next thing you have to do is say the next thing you have to do is actually move to on create method now once you have targeted your button you need to move into on create method so what you have to do is actually I'm just gonna make this line as well into my on create because I want access to this particular button when the activity is created not before that so that is a handy tip you have got there so make sure you write that in on create method instead of just writing it outside so say my first button dot set on click listener and what it would do is that it would accept a on click listener for your view so you can say that this is new view dot on click listener and what you have to do in here is say and actually just need to do like that so it is a constructor call for this class view dot on click listener and what you have to do is say public void on click and make sure that o is small so what you have now access to is a view v so it says me what Uh, method invocation on click listener may produce Java lang null pointer exception and why is it so anyway so let's just leave that for now and say that toast dot make text get application context then I'm gonna say I was clicked and let's just say this is toast dot length shot and not show so let me just see that first in action and then we'll make sure that if it's saying something or not it should probably not create a null pointer so it doesn't apparently I guess I have found a fix for this and that would be to actually initialize this button right here as null so that we just have to make sure that we are pointing this to this one I know it may seem stupid for now but actually Java allows actually requires you to declare you know such things so that you could actually avoid null pointer exception a null pointer exception would happen like if this my first button is blank or you know nothing is returned in here so you first of all initialize your button so you don't have to do that right here so you know right now it's probably saying that it would somehow contain some sort of response from this I know it may sound stupid because it sounds stupid to me earlier as well but uh, right now it makes sense so now if I run this as you can see the exception is gone now that would have worked as well but uh, actually I just need to make sure that I don't mess up with override so as you have noticed that this code without when this was in here it was still working but you know Java just allows you to perform best practices so why not just follow that so I'm a cool button and uh, yes indeed it is because it says that I was clicked so that is all pretty much for your on click event and uh, if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching